All right, I just got out of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Here's my out of theater reaction. Very, very big fan of this franchise. This, honestly, the previous trilogy is my favorite trilogy ever. The more I think about it, Caesar is one of my favorite fictional characters in cinema. So I had high hopes for this. And also, apologies if the audio is weird. It's a little windy. There's just a storm uh, during the movie. But I was very nervous for this movie. More nervous than excited. I didn't really like that they announced it. I saw the promo art years ago of an a ape on a horse, I believe, uh, in a big grassland. And I was like, okay, it kind of looks similar to the Dawn movie. I mean, it was already a wasteland in that movie. But this really has its own little flair, but it still feels so connected to those movies. And it's honestly the best version of a follow-up we could have gotten. I was genuinely stunned in the first hour of this, how much this movie really worked for me. I love the opening. I'm not going to spoil it, but the opening gave me instant chills and a little tear. Um, just as a fan of this franchise, that meant a lot to me. And it established the respect that they were going to give you for this franchise, the people behind the camera. Wes Ball directed this. The last two were Matt Reeves, who is one of the best directors right now. Wes Ball really does a great job. I mean, he I, I didn't care for the Maze Runner movies. don't even really think I've seen them. Not my cup of tea, but man, I was nervous. This is going to feel kind of generic straight to TV, but nope, it feels cinematic. has that classic cinema feel that the last two Matt Reeves movies did. The CGI is out of this world, as you expect, but even though we expect it, we should still give these movies credit for how damn good they look. I think it's probably the best CGI put onto film uh, consistently, especially War and then this one. I mean, it's just as good... And as a society, as movie fans, <clears throat> we always complain about human characters taking control of stories with our, our favorite fictional characters, you know, Optimus Prime, Transformers, Sonic. Man, it is really windy, spooky out here. But yeah, it's, it's a thing that we've hated for years and studios need to get the message. This is that movie, guys. There's like f maybe 15% of human in this movie. And when they're on the screen, the apes are still in the scene. The apes with characteristics that are talking um yeah it's just night and day from what we can be getting and people uh, that have given this movie negative reviews for whatever i was very nervous because it's been kind of split people that are loving it i'm on the loving it side this might be my favorite movie of the year and i think we need to just give these creators credit they really snapped and the acting owen teague as noah becomes instantly lovable just as much as caesar He's a very different type of character. He's more timid, um, more crafty. He's, he's uh, not as much courageous as Caesar was, or not as calculated. Caesar always kind of had a plan. Noah is very unique. I loved, I love this character. Um, Proximus Caesar is kind of a, is vi visually fucking sick. Such a cool looking villain. And everything around him is really cool. They just don't really give him much. There's not much... You feel his presence because the threat that he poses throughout the whole movie, but he just didn't have a lot of screen time. It boils down to that. But what he does, he makes it matter. His eyes, gosh, the eye, the animation with the eyes, Kevin Durant, it looked amazing, dude. So, like, piercing and scary. Uh, the gorilla villain was really the big, fun villain of the movie. He scared the shit out of me. Raka, great character, our new kind of Maurice. Uh, I, I just can't wait to see what happens next. Um... I want to see another one, but this movie really put me in my seat, had me invested start to finish. Just an incredible expedition, just a journey. Um, and when you watch these movies, just like Dawn and War, and like I said, love this franchise. Dawn's like my top five movies of all time. I love that movie. But this has that same feeling where it feels like you're witnessing something important. The moral questions this asks, the uh, kind of humans just... The, the like betraying themselves and like what humans can do with their own egos just i'm not thinking of the right words but you know what i mean just the ca cautionary tale for the human race and that's what this franchise really speaks about and this one carries it home too but it adds more lore um, more mythology caesar's presence is felt man they just knocked it out of the park this like i said this might be my favorite of the year it's definitely like top two or three need to think about it but i was jaw oh man i'm just so proud because I, I feel like not a lot of people really give this franchise credit i'll always love the hell out of it and this is another banger 
just another great addition and also stands on its own and also ushers in a new saga with these new characters that I loved. I love his friends too. Noah's friends were great. The family dynamic, all of it's just like how good the original ones hit. I'm going to go, yeah, you can tell I'm really excited, guys. I'm so happy this movie rocked and it worked for me. I was very scared that it wouldn't, but I'm going to give this a solid 4.5 out of 5. Thanks for hanging out uh, with me, the Jay Shreyway, out of the theater reaction at the uh, movie theater. All right, guys, I'll see you later.